welcome to a new video that covers yet another basic blacksmithing project, suitable for beginners as well. If you want to enrich your day with high quality videos, go ahead and subscribe. You will not regret it. Today I will show you how to make a flatter for the power hammer using the bottom swage I forged in the last video. I am using 4340, which is a medium carbon tool steel. The round bar is 1.5 inches in diameter and I'm cutting off a 3.5 inch long piece. As you saw right at the beginning, the flatter has a business end where the flattening happens and then a handle to comfortably hold onto. I am marking where I want to separate out the steel for the handle. The blacksmith helper with fullering dies makes it easy to separate the material for the handle from the material for the business end. The steel, even when hot, is a little bit tough to work and I have to hit it hard with the hammer multiple times. One challenge here is that after each hit my workpiece jumps a little bit and I need to reposition the dice. After many hard strikes with the hammer, I have enough material isolated to do the rest of the work on the power hammer. This was surprisingly time consuming and I'm just showing you a time lapse here. As you may see from the video, the power hammer has a split set of dice. One is completely flat, but the other is for quickly drawing out steel, which is what I need for forging a long handle. I also placed a spacer so that I can draw everything to an even thickness. I don't quite remember what size I used, but it's probably a quarter of an inch. I am forging the very end of the handle thinner because I will bend it into a broader loop for my hand to hold onto. As you will see in a moment, I'm not forming a circle but more of a rectangle. This whole project was heavily inspired by a similar video from Torbjörn Arman. He has excellent content. I am using the horn of my anvil to form my initial bends, but then will need to heavily adjust as I'm not getting the appropriate angles immediately. After many adjustments and going back and forth, I am happy with the handle I created. It's time to weld it and then fine tune one more time. I am careful to not forge directly on the weld as it is at least initially brittle and might break open. Alright, that's enough. I feel like I spent more time on this than on anything else on this project. Now it's time to finally forge the business end of the flatter and to do that I'm using the bottom swage I forged in my previous video. The mechanics of a flatter are quite simple. I need a raised spot that I can hit with the heavy hammer or the power hammer and a flat surface on the other end. The height of the raised part of the tool determines the maximum angle at which I can flatten. I'll show you what I mean at the end. Before heat treating the flatter, I want to clean up some of the transitions I forged under the power hammer. I'm using a handheld fuller to help with that.
After I'm happy with the rough shape, I'm going to the grinder to grind the back side of the flatter completely flat. I will also spend a fair bit of time to grind in very smooth transitions so that when using the flatter I'm not marking the piece I'm working on. As you can see, the back is flat now, but the edges are still very sharp. That's what I will fix now. My metal dust collector helps with catching most of the grinding sparks, which hopefully results in a much cleaner shop. This is looking quite nice now and it's time to heat treat and harden the flatter. I will heat it up to critical temperature but the steel is no longer magnetic and then will quickly quench it in high speed quenching oil. The quenching oil quickly cools down the steel and will lock the carbon atoms in a configuration where the steel is much harder than before. The one drawback with this approach is that the transition to the handle and the handle itself is now also quite hard. It is not what I want. Before fixing that, let's test with the file whether the heat treating really worked. You can hear that the file is not biting and just skates over the steel. To make the handle less hard and brittle, I will just heat it back up and let it slowly cool down. By resting the flatter in the water, it will stay hard and the hardness in the transition area will be reduced, and the handle is hopefully going to be quite soft. As a final step, I will place the flatter in my heat treating oven to control the reduction in hardness by temperature. In this case, I'm heating it quite high to 600 Fahrenheit for about an hour. On video, this hour is over quite quickly, so let's take a look. While not impacting the function, there are ugly marks on my flatter. That happens when you forge scale into the steel. Usually you remove that with a brush, but that assumes a functional brush. Probably time to change it. Before I close out the video, let's look at an extreme example. Flatness at a very steep angle. If you stuck around this long, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to. There we go. The flatter for the power hammer added to my tool arsenal. Thanks to everyone who is sticking around with me on Patreon. If you join there, you get to see my infrequent videos a little bit earlier. I hope you enjoyed this video, and with that, I will see you next time.